What if I told you the USA, land of the free, home of the brave, is filled with secrets that would engross you? You heard it accurately. We are about to delve into, identifying 12 of the most intriguing facts about the United States. We'll be counting down from 12 to 1, each fact is riveting, sure to astound you. So, are you prepared to yourself in the enigma that is the USA? Ready to decode the hidden truths of this magnificent nation? Buckle up! Starting at number 12, we dive deep into the mysterious Denver Airport. This airport, nestled in the heart of Colorado, is cloaked in layers upon layers of enigma. Its story is one that is filled with intrigue and secrecy, drawing the attention of conspiracy theorists across the globe. Whispers and murmurs of underground bunkers, eerie artwork and curious construction oddities have long been associated this unusual location. It seems that every corner of the Denver airport is shrouded in mystery, each hallway whispering tales of the unknown. Rumors of its connection to the New World Order have swirled around like a gust of wind, leaving behind a trail of questions in its wake. These whispers have moved from hushed tones in dim-lit rooms to mainstream discussions, fueling the already enigmatic appeal of the, while these theories are yet to be proven, they undoubtedly contribute to the allure of the airport. They serve as a magnet, drawing in those with an insatiable curiosity for the unknown. So, between transits or before boarding a flight, take some time to explore the Denver airport. Look beyond the mundane facade of a regular travel hub and delve into its intricacies. Each corner may hold a new mystery, waiting to be discovered. Who knows, you may even stumble upon a clue that brings us closer to the truth about this intriguing place. So the next time you're in Denver, maybe give the airport a second look. At number 11 we dive into history with the lost colony of Roanoke. This tale of mystery and intrigue begins in the later part of the 16th century, when a party of more than 100 English pioneers made landfall on a small known as Roanoke, situated just off the coast of what is now widely recognized as North Carolina. Their journey was not one of exploration or adventure, but rather, of survival and the establishment of a new home. Driven by hopes of prosperity and religious freedom, they planted the seeds of what would have been the first permanent English settlement in the uncharted expanse of the New World. These individuals, brave and determined, staked their claim on this unfamiliar land, crafting homes, cultivating fields, and building what they hoped would be a thriving community for generations to come. However, their dream was to be abruptly shattered. Some years later, vessels that had been dispatched from England with crucial supplies made a chilling discovery. Upon their arrival, they found the once bustling settlement eerily quiet and completely devoid of life. The homes and buildings stood empty, the fields lay untended, and there was no sign whatsoever of the settlers who had once called this place home. The absence of any evidence or indication as to the colonists' fate only served to deepen the mystery. The once vibrant colony was now nothing more than a ghostly shell of its former self. Eerily, the only hint left behind was a word, Croatoan, carved with apparent haste into a solitary wooden post. Was it a desperate cry for help or a clue to their whereabouts? Nobody knows. This cryptic message has puzzled historians for centuries and sparked countless theories, yet no definitive explanation has ever been found. A mystery that remains unsolved to this day. For fact number 10, we turn our gaze to the puzzling Georgia Guidestones. These enormous structures, standing tall in Elbert County, Georgia, have been the subject of intrigue and speculation since they first emerged from the earth in 1980. Rising like a monument from the depths of mystery, these massive granite slabs, towering and enigmatic, quietly bear the weight of unsolved riddles and unanswered questions. The Georgia Guidestones are more than just slabs of stone. They are etched with a list of 10 distinct guidelines inscribed in eight different languages. These languages range from English, Spanish, and Russian to Hebrew, Arabic, Hindi, Chinese, and Swahili, reflecting a truly global perspective. Each slab is meticulously crafted and engraved, its words carrying a message that transcends barriers of language and geography, appealing to all of humanity. However, what adds an extra layer of enigma to these stones is the identity of their sponsor, a man who concealed his real name behind the pseudonym R.C. Christian commissioned the construction of these stones. Despite the many attempts to unveil his identity, the man behind the pseudonym remains shrouded in mystery. This anonymity has sparked a wealth of theories, each adding to the allure of the guidestones. The interpretations of these guidelines are as diverse as the languages they're inscribed in. Some view guidestones as a beacon of hope, carrying a message of peace and unity. They see these stones as a call to humanity, urging us to live in harmony with each other and the planet. 
On the other hand, there are those who interpret these guidelines as blueprints for a new world order, sparking fears and speculation. These conflicting views only add to the enigma of the Georgia Guidestones. They stand as a testament to human curiosity and our innate desire to seek answers. They provoke thought, invite debate, and encourage us to question our understanding of the world. One thing's for sure, the Georgia Guidestones are not just stone slabs. They are a silent witness to human fascination with mystery, a magnet for theories and speculations. A modern-day Stonehenge right here in the USA. Coming in at number 9, we explore the eerie Winchester Mystery House. This architectural wonder, steeped in mystery and whispers of the supernatural, stands as a testament to the eccentricities of its original owner, Sarah Winchester. A splendidly haunting Victorian mansion nestled in the heart of San Jose, California, it is far from your ordinary dwelling. Unlike your typical Victorian abode, this mansion boasts a peculiar twist. It is nothing short of an architectural labyrinth. Inside you'll find a staggering 160 rooms, a figure that truly baffles the mind. Each room, a story in itself, filled with inexplicable design choices that are not only puzzling but uncannily strange. The mansion's layout is a maze of oddities that defy conventional wisdom. Staircases that lead to nowhere, an intriguing design choice that leaves you questioning the logic behind it. Doors that open to brick walls, an architectural feature that seems to mock the very purpose of a door. Windows that peer into other a design quirk that disrupts the usual norms of privacy and isolation. And what adds to the enigma is the stark absence of any blueprint or architectural plan for the mansion. It's as if the house sprouted from the ground, twisting and turning on its own accord. The design of the house seems to have been guided more by whim and fancy than by any set architectural principles. The legend that surrounds this mansion is just as mysterious as the mansion itself. The lore has it Sarah Winchester, the widow of the prosperous gun magnate William Winchester, built this house continuously for 38 years. But what's more intriguing is the motivation behind this incessant construction. As the tale goes, Sarah Winchester was guided by the spirits of those who had fallen to Winchester rifles. Haunted by the souls of the departed, she supposedly sought solace and redemption in the ceaseless building of this mansion. They say she believed that as long as the construction continued, the spirits would be appeased. Every nail driven into the wood, every wall erected, every room added, was believed to pacify the restless spirits. Her obsession with spiritualism and the supernatural greatly influenced the design of the mansion. Hallways turn abruptly, rooms are oddly shaped, and staircases rise and descend randomly, reflecting a chaotic pattern that mirrors the turmoil of restless spirits. An architectural enigma, wrapped in a haunting tale that still sends shivers down the spine of every visitor. The Winchester Mystery House stands as a chilling reminder of a widow's attempt to appease the spirits of those who had fallen to the weapons her husband had brought into the world. At number 8 we delve into the money pit of Oak Island. This captivating tale of treasure and mystery situated on an unassuming island off the coast of Nova Scotia has intrigued and bewildered treasure hunters, history buffs, and those fascinated by the mysteries of the world since the 18th century. Oak Island, small, wooded landmass is an enigma that holds a profound and irresistible allure. It's a true testament to human curiosity, courage, and our eternal desire to unveil the unknown. For hundreds of years the island has been the subject of countless expeditions and investigations, each one hoping to unearth the secrets and riches it is said to contain. The Money Pit, the focal point of the island's mystery, has become synonymous with the quest for hidden treasure. Theories about its contents are as many as the stars in the sky. Some suggest that the hidden wealth could be a hoard of pirates' plunder, a speculation that sends one's imagination sailing on the high seas of adventure and danger. Others propose that the pit may contain the lost works of Shakespeare, a hypothesis that adds a layer of cultural and historical significance to the treasure hunt. This theory posits that hidden within the depths of the pit are manuscripts that could revolutionize our understanding of Elizabethan literature and shake the foundations of literary history. Imagine, stashed away in a pit on a remote island, are works of one of the greatest playwrights and poets of all time, waiting to be discovered. Despite numerous efforts invested in unraveling this mystery, the allure of the treasure remains as strong as ever. Teams of explorers and treasure seekers, armed with the latest technology and an unquenchable spirit of adventure, have ventured into the island's intriguing depths. Millions have been spent, fortunes have been risked, and lives have even been lost in the pursuit of the Money Pit's elusive treasure. 
history and lore have become intertwined in the story of Oak Island. The tale has been embellished and retold, each iteration adding to the island's mystique. Stories of curses and protective spirits, of unexplained phenomena and cryptic clues have become part of the island's lore, further fueling the intrigue. Yet, despite all the resources spent and the risks taken, the elusive treasure remains undisturbed, hidden deep within the pit. The mystery of the money pit continues to tantalize, taunt, and challenge those daring enough to attempt to solve its secrets remain locked away, buried deep within the earth, protected by layers of history, myth, and perhaps some inexplicable forces. The money pit of Oak Island is more than just a treasure hunt. It's a captivating journey into the world of the unknown, a testament to human tenacity and the undying spirit of exploration. It represents the quintessential human story of mystery, adventure, and the eternal quest for knowledge and riches. A tantalizing enigma, the money pit of Oak Island truly is a treasure hunt with no end in sight. Fact number seven takes us to the eerie curse of Tecumseh. Named after the legendary Shawnee tribal leader Tecumseh, this curse is steeped in a rich tapestry of American history and folklore, a mix of the spectral and political, which continues to bewitch those who dare to venture into its depths. This isn't just a simple curse we're discussing, it's a whirlpool of fate and disaster, intrigues and mysteries that have perplexed historians and laypeople for generations. The Shawnee leader, Tecumseh, a name that rings with an echo of a time when the raw, untamed wilderness was an integral part of American life. A fierce and respected warrior, he was not only a leader, but also a visionary, a man who believed in the unity of all Native American tribes to defend their lands. His death came in the Battle of the Thames during the War of 1812, and from there, the curse springs forth, a ghostly specter casting its shadow on American politics. It's not the death count that startles us, but the pattern. The curse is believed to have caused the death of seven U.S. presidents, but not just any presidents, all of them were elected in years ending in zero. An uncanny coincidence or something more sinister? It's a question that has kept the fires of speculation burning for decades. Beginning with William Harrison in 1840, the first victim of this curse, his presidency, tragically cut short. He was a president who held promise, a symbol of the new frontier spirit, but died of pneumonia a month after his inauguration. His sudden death cast a pall over the nation, setting a chilling precedent. The sequence did not stop there, it ominously continued for over a century, a bleak timeline marked by the unfortunate demise of one president after another. Abraham Lincoln, James A. Garfield, William McKinley, all victims of assassinations, their names forever etched in American history marred by the shadow of the Tecumseh curse. Even Franklin D. Roosevelt and Warren G. Harding, presidents who died in office due to natural causes, could not escape the curse's grim reach. Roosevelt, the longest-serving president, died of a cerebral hemorrhage in 1945, and Harding, whose administration was marred by scandal, died of a heart attack in 1923. That didn't discriminate, it took them all, irrespective of their policies or legacy. The latest victim was John F. Kennedy in 1960, a charismatic leader with a promising future, tragically assassinated in Dallas, Texas, a death that shocked the world. His untimely demise once again brought the Tecumseh curse to the forefront, fueling fresh debates and theories. Each death, attributed to either natural causes or assassination, has added fuel to the blazing fire of the legend of this ominous curse. A web of intrigue, mystery and speculation surrounds each incident, each president's death becoming yet another chapter in this grim saga. It's a narrative that continues to capture the imagination, a potent of history, superstition and the inexplicable. A presidential curse that seems all too real. It's a chilling reminder of the enigma that is the Tecumseh curse, a historical riddle wrapped in a mystery, each death a stark reminder of the enduring power of this seemingly unbreakable curse. At number six, we listen to the chilling bloop sound. This chilling noise, an enigma wrapped in a sonic mystery, has reverberated within the halls of the scientific community for years. Detected by the esteemed National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, it has left seasoned researchers enthusiasts alike scratching their heads and delving into the uncharted waters of speculation. The bloop, as it has been colloquially termed, is far from ordinary a sound that bends our understanding of what's possible. It is an ultra-low frequency auditory phenomenon that was intercepted in the colossal depths of the Pacific Ocean. To put it in perspective, imagine a sound so haunting, so peculiar, yet so mesmerizing, 
it leaves you with an inexplicable chill running down the spine. Now envision the kind of equipment it would require to detect such a sound. What we're discussing here is not just professional grade gear, but the type that's used by national administration bodies. This equipment is incredibly sensitive, capable of detecting the faintest sounds from miles away. But this sound was not faint, it was not a mere whisper in the depths of the sea. No, the bloop was something else entirely. It was so powerful, so outrageously potent, that it was heard at listening stations over 3,000 miles apart. Let that sink in. 3,000 miles, a distance equating to the length of the Great Wall of China. This was not just a sound, this was a roar, a call from the depths that could not be ignored. As with any unexplained occurrence, theories abound. Some propose it's a sea creature of enormous size. The idea of a massive leviathan lurking beneath the waves fascinates and terrifies us. A creature so immense its mere motion could generate a sound that travels thousands of stirs our primal fears and fascinations. Others suggest it's an unusual geological event. An unheard of seismic activity that creates such a loud noise challenges our established knowledge about Earth sciences. The bloop has thus become a subject of intense debate and infinite imagination. It's an oral puzzle that has provoked countless discussions and triggered an array of research initiatives. Scientists are tirelessly working, using every tool at their disposal to decode this mysterious manifestation from the deep. Every idea, every theory is being explored, potential explanations scrutinized, all in an attempt to explain the unexplainable. Still, despite all the speculation and analysis, the true nature of the bloop remains elusive. Its source unidentified, its cause unknown. It continues to persist as an enigma, a riddle wrapped in the echoes of the deep sea. A question that resonates in the minds of those who dare to seek answers. The bloop sound continues to baffle an underwater mystery that leaves us questioning. Fact number five brings us the perplexing Taos hum. This is a low-frequency noise that has been heard in the quiet, quaint town of Taos, situated in the heart of New Mexico. The town, nestled in the Sangre de Cristo Mountains, is home to a small population. A section of this populace, which is a mere fraction of the population, can hear this enigmatic sound. What makes this hum so intriguing is the fact that it is not universally audible. Only a select group of Taos residents have reported hearing this unexplained noise. This has given rise to a host of theories, each more baffling than the last. Moreover, the sound is neither constant nor widely prevalent, but rather intermittent and localized, further piquing interest and creating a sense of mystique around the phenomenon. Scientists have been captivated by this hum and the mystery surrounding it. They have conducted extensive studies and research in the hopes of finding the source of this peculiarity. Yet their efforts have largely been in vain. Despite deploying state-of-the-art sound tracking equipment, setting up numerous monitoring stations, and even undertaking geological surveys of the region, they have been unable to pinpoint the origin of the hum. This lack of scientific explanation has led to a fertile ground for speculative theories. Some believe that the hum is a product of covert government activities. They argue that the government is running secret projects in the vicinity, possibly involving experimental technology or advanced communication devices, which could be generating this low-frequency sound. Others lean towards more elaborate theories involving extraterrestrial beings. They claim that the hum is evidence of underground alien bases. According to these theories, aliens could be utilizing sophisticated technologies beyond human comprehension, causing the hum. However, despite the multitude of theories, None have been scientifically proven or universally accepted. Medical professionals have also been roped into the investigation of this curious, the hum's baffling nature has led some to attribute it to tinnitus, a common condition that causes ringing or buzzing in the ears. Others have proposed that it could be a symptom of auditory hallucinations, a phenomenon where individuals hear sounds that are not present. Despite the abundance of theories, the Taos hum continues to confound residents and experts alike. It has become a part of local folklore, a unique characteristic of the town that adds to its charm and intrigue. The hum has also inspired a slew of popular culture references from books and movies to music and art, serving as a testament to its pervasive what is the Taos hum. Is it a natural phenomenon, a product of human activity, or an alien signal? Could it be a medical condition, a collective hallucination, or a strange acoustic anomaly? The truth remains shrouded in mystery. Despite the countless hours of research, the myriad of theories, and the fervent debates, the hum remains a conundrum, a sound enigma that continues to baffle and intrigue. 
Here's a mystery that truly resonates, a sound that keeps an entire town guessing. Coming in at number 4, we have the ominous Mothman sightings. This intriguing tale of the unexplained begins in mid-60s, in the quaint, unsuspecting town of Point Pleasant. Nestled in the heart of West Virginia, this town, with its picturesque landscapes and friendly locals, seemed like any other. However, it was about to become the epicenter of paranormal activity, an eerie storm of weird happenings that would cement its place in the annals of supernatural lore. The first unusual occurrence that signaled the start of this paranormal tempest was sightings of a peculiar entity. As dusk melted into the inkiness of night and the moon began to cast long eerie shadows, residents started reporting sightings of a large winged creature of an unidentifiable nature. This nocturnal apparition became known as the Mothman. Mothman, as the locals named the creature, was said to be no ordinary bird or beast. Its grotesque features sent shivers down the spines of even the most hardened skeptic. Standing taller than a man, it possessed wings that spread out wide, blotting out the moon and the stars. Its eyes, two glowing orbs of a searing red, pierced the darkness, painting a chilling portrait in the minds of those unfortunate enough to cross its path. The sightings varied, but a few elements remained the same. Witnesses remarked on the creature's enormous wingspan, its towering height and most unsettlingly, its glowing red eyes. These eyes, they said, were not just glowing, they were intensely radiating like coals burning brightly in the heart of a blackened forge. They claimed these eyes had a hypnotic quality, unsettling and eerie, yet strangely captivating. The Mothman was not just sighted in isolated incidents, the creature seemed to be everywhere, haunting the dreams and waking hours of the town's residents. It cast a long shadow over their lives, its presence felt in every corner of the town. From the deep woods fringing the town to the quiet suburban neighborhoods, it appeared as if the Mothman had made Point Pleasant its home. What was the Mothman exactly? Theories abound regarding its origins and purpose. Some believe that this apparition was an omen, an eerie supernatural sign of the tragic events that were yet to befall the town. They pointed to the collapse of the Silver Bridge, a catastrophic event that claimed many lives as evidence of this theory. The Silver Bridge, a once sturdy structure that spanned the Ohio River, had been a symbol of pride for the residents. Its downfall was sudden and shocking, shattering the peace of the town. Numerous lives were lost, turning Point Pleasant from a quiet town into a place of mourning. The bridge's collapse was seen by many as a confirmation of the Mothman's role as a harbinger of doom. Others were not so quick to link the Mothman sightings with the collapse of the Silver Bridge. They proposed that this was an alien or a cryptid, an undiscovered species that had chosen Point Pleasant as its hunting ground. Yet others saw it as a creature born out of nightmares, a figment of collective imagination fueled by fear and curiosity. So was the Mothman a warning of disaster, a messenger from another world, or merely a figment of folklore and wild? The answer remains shrouded in mystery, just like the creature itself. As we delve deeper into the annals of unexplained phenomena, Point Pleasant and its Mothman remain one of the most compelling, terrifying and intriguing mysteries, a creature of nightmares or a warning of disaster. The debate continues, leaving us to wonder about the nature of the unexplained and the depths of the unknown. At number 3, we sail into the infamous Bermuda Triangle. This intriguing three-cornered stretch of the Atlantic Ocean has long held a firm grip on our collective sense of curiosity and fear. Nestled between the bustling city of Miami, the idyllic island of Bermuda, and the vibrant terrain of Puerto Rico, it forms an invisible triangle that spans approximately 500,000 square miles of seemingly tranquil seawater. However, this tranquility masks a deeper, more ominous reality. This area, also known as the Devil's Triangle, has been the eerie backdrop for countless maritime and aerial disappearances throughout history. It's not just the sheer number of disappearances that are unnerving, it's the mysterious circumstances under which these vessels simply vanished. Stories of lost ships are aplenty. The schooner Carol A. Deering ran aground in 1921, its crew mysteriously vanished. The SS Cotopaxi, a tramp steamer, disappeared in 1925, only to be found adrift 95 years later without its crew. There are tales of vanished naval vessels like the USS Cyclops, a naval cargo ship that went missing without a trace in 1918, taking with it 309 crew members. The tales don't stop at sea. The air above this body of water also seems to swallow aircrafts whole. The infamous Flight 19, 
a group of five U.S. Navy bombers disappeared during a training flight in 1945. Not only did initial squadron vanish, but the rescue plane sent to find them also disappeared. These chronicles of lost ships and vanished planes have been the fuel for numerous theories each more exotic than the last. Some suggest magnetic anomalies interfere with compasses and other navigational instruments, leading vessels astray. Others propose the existence of time portals or vortexes that encapsulate and transport vessels to another time or location. More adventurous theories suggest extraterrestrial activity, alien abduction if you will, as the cause for these disappearances. Each tale, each theory, amplifies the intrigue surrounding the Bermuda Triangle. Despite the scientific efforts to debunk these tales, the Bermuda Triangle resolutely retains its aura of mystery. Skeptics argue that the number of disappearances is no higher than any other heavily trafficked area of the world's oceans. They propose that the Triangle's reputation is fueled more by myth and pop culture than empirical evidence. Yet, the Triangle doesn't let go of its mystique. Its enigmatic nature has been a source of endless fascination for sailors, aviators, and explorers alike. It's a maritime conundrum, a complex puzzle that has confounded the minds of the most seasoned seafarers and aviators for centuries. Why do vessels disappear? Where do they go? Theories merely imaginative speculation, or is there a kernel of truth hidden within them? Scientists and researchers continue to explore and investigate, attempting to pull back the shroud of mystery that blankets this patch of the Atlantic. New theories emerge, old ones are discarded, yet the question remains unanswered, the mystery unsolved. The Bermuda Triangle stands as a testament to the unknown, an embodiment of the limitless mysteries that our world continues to harbor. In literature, film, and popular culture, the Bermuda Triangle continues to capture imagination. It's a reminder of the humbling vastness of our world and the uncharted mysteries that it still holds. It's a touchstone of the inexplicable, a symbol of our thirst for adventure and our enduring fascination with the unknown, a maritime mystery that continues to perplex. At number two, we venture into the restricted Area 51, a location like no other, shrouded in an almost palpable shroud of ambiguity, stirring curiosity in the hearts of millions. An enigma, it lies, nestled within the barren landscapes of the Nevada desert, seemingly unfazed by the fanfare it incites. Its impenetrability just increases its allure. For decades it's been a fertile ground for conspiracy theorists, a hunting ground for the ones who dare to question, to probe into the world of the unknown, each theory more intriguing than the last painting a vivid canvas of imaginative hypotheses. The whispers of UFO sightings that supposedly pepper its history make Area 51 a coveted topic for discussion among alien enthusiasts. Tales of inexplicable lights cutting through the night sky, of strange unearthly shapes that move with a haunting elegance, only to disappear as quickly as they appear. They've been a source of fascination and skepticism alike. The night sky of Nevada, they say, is a testament to these eerie of lights, an open secret in the vast, star-studded vault of the universe. Then come the rumors of extraterrestrial life, stories that hint at the very existence of beings beyond our planet, beings far more advanced, far more evolved. Are they silent observers of human evolution, or is their interest far more sinister? Theories have been spun, debates have raged, yet the answers remain as elusive as the supposed extraterrestrial life forms themselves. Alongside there exist tales of advanced technology, whispers of inventions that defy the laws of physics, of mechanisms that traverse the realms of science fiction and reality, a cornucopia of futuristic tools and technologies, all the vast, secretive umbrella of Area 51. The unknown nature of Area 51 is augmented by the U.S. government's tight-lipped stance on the matter. Their refusal to comment, to appease the mounting curiosity, only adds fuel to the ever-burning fire of speculation. The lack of transparency, the wall of silence, only adds to the intrigue, breeding more theories, more ideas, more mystery. It's a place that challenges the limit of human curiosity, of our intrinsic need to explore and understand. It's a testament to our unyielding spirit, our relentless pursuit of knowledge, our insatiable appetite for unraveling the unknown. A place that stands as a symbol of the enigmatic, of the uncharted territories that lie beyond our reach, but not beyond our imagination. Area 51 is far more than just a classified location on a map. It's an entity that exists in the realm of the unknown, a concept that challenges our understanding of and the impossible. It's a place that fuels the imagination, 
inciting a relentless pursuit for answers. And despite the silence from officials and the lack of concrete evidence, the fascination with Area 51 persists. It is the ultimate symbol of the unknown, the unexplained, a classified site that fuels the imagination of millions. Finally, at number one, we delve into the elusive Philadelphia experiment. This is a story that has been a source of fascination for decades, seeping into popular culture and inspiring countless books, movies, and television shows. The tale is not only intriguing but it also poses many questions that beg for answers, leaving many of us in awe of the possibilities. The roots of the Philadelphia experiment can be traced back to the height of World War II. It was a time of desperate measures, a time when the boundaries of scientific exploration were being pushed to their limits in a bid to gain an advantage over enemy forces. In the midst of this chaotic period the U.S. Navy was said to embarked on a daring and bold experiment. The experiment was supposedly carried out in the Naval Shipyard of Philadelphia in the year 1943. According to the narrative the U.S. Navy was attempting to create a technology that had the potential to change the course of the war. This technology, if successful, could make a naval ship vanish right before your eyes. The ship in question was the USS Eldridge, a naval destroyer that was commissioned during the war. The Eldridge, a vessel of significant size and power, was the chosen subject for this audacious experiment. The thought of such a large ship disappearing entirely is a concept that's hard to wrap our heads around even today. The story goes that on a specific day, the Eldridge was enveloped in a greenish fog, a phenomenon that eyewitnesses claim to have seen. Then, within a matter of moments, the ship was gone, vanished like it had never been there at all. Over the years, the tale of the Philadelphia experiment has intrigued skeptics and believers alike. It has been a focal point and discussions, raising questions about the boundaries of human capabilities. The skeptics question the plausibility of such an event while the believers argue the potential of technology and the extents to which it can be pushed. Many have sought to debunk the story calling it a mere hoax, a product of overactive imaginations fueled by wartime paranoia. Others, however, insist on the truth of the event, citing supposed eyewitness accounts and classified documents that hint at the experiment's existence. Several investigations have been carried out to uncover the truth behind the Philadelphia experiment. Many of these investigations have yielded inconclusive results, further deepening the mystery surrounding the event. And yet the allure of the Philadelphia experiment continues to captivate the minds many, prompting ongoing research and exploration into this enigmatic event. The Philadelphia experiment, whether fact or fiction, continues to be a source of fascination. It brings to the forefront questions of what is possible in the realm of science and technology, pushing the boundaries of what we believe to be achievable. It's a testament to human curiosity and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. The Philadelphia experiment remains an experiment shrouded in mystery and controversy. Let's recap the top three mysteries. The Bermuda Triangle, a maritime enigma full of countless tales, has been the center of unsolved mysteries for years. Here, numerous vessels and aircraft have mysteriously disappeared, leading to a plethora of theories from the plausible to the fantastical. Second on our list is Area 51, the hub of Alien, a secret military facility in Nevada that is shrouded in secrecy. It has been the epicenter of endless speculations. Many believe that Area 51 serves as the base for operations involving extraterrestrial entities, with the belated government acknowledgement further fueling conspiracy theories. Finally, the Philadelphia Experiment, a teleportation mystery from 1943 involving the USS Eldridge, a naval vessel purportedly made invisible for a short period. The tales spun around this experiment have resulted in theories exploring teleportation, time travel, and interdimensional travel. Intriguing, isn't it? These mysteries not only pique our curiosity but also remind us of our eternal quest for knowledge and the thrill of deciphering the unfathomable. Please share and like the video, and consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. Also, leave a comment for any suggestions for future videos. After all, in this vast universe of ours, the possibilities are endless, and so are the mysteries. Let's embark on this journey of exploration and discovery together. Thanks.